might ask why is lime important? Well, all of our cane soils, or the majority of our cane soils are, are fairly acid. And when you're growing a break crop, legumes are not as tolerant as of acidity as what cane is. So this is probably one of the, one of the first steps in terms of uh, how to get the land ready for soybeans. And it's a matter of getting um, soil tests beforehand to work out what the pH is originally. Uh, and, and a liming estimate comes with that soil test, as we know, how many tonnes of lime per hectare to apply. So, um, yes, one of the critical things is, is soil testing to ensure that we are supplying the right nutrients to the legume crop. Um, and then, so as then we're growing a good legume crop, so as then we get, get the benefits of the following cane crop. So essentially, if you're wanting to start uh, soil sampling a paddock, you'd want to take about you know, 40 to 50 representative samples out of a paddock. So. When we say a soil sample, it doesn't have to be an extremely technical process at all. It's a matter of doing a, probably a random or a drunken sailor walk through the paddock and just grabbing a, as many samples as we can from, from different sites. If this is a, a sampling auger, easily do something uh, cheap and nasty with a little bit of PVC tubing. It doesn't have to be something flash like that. And it's just simply a matter of pushing it into the soil, down to roughly the end of the 10 centimetre mark, grabbing the sample out. and Yep, and pushing in there. So obviously, um, you'd normally get a, a commercial lab to do a soil test, but as a, a quick and easy way of having, having a look to see how acid the soil is, you can use one of these um, soil pH test kits. The problem is the indicator solution only lasts a year or so, so it's uh, if it rolls around the ute for too many years, it's not a great deal of use to you. So the process is, is quite, quite simple and easy. We're simply grabbing a, a representative sample of soil, placing it on the on the tray, mixing tray, adding the, the dye. It's a fairly simple process then of mixing that into a bit of a slurry. A bit like baking a cake but but not. Simply a matter of applying the barium uh, barium sulfate. We allow that to, to sit through a minute or so, and then we're just trying to color color match. So essentially, we're we're, we're aiming for the soil to be around the pH of, of, of six and a half. And I'm cheating a bit because I know I've had the soil test done on this block, and I know it's 5.1. So you can see with this test kit. Whilst it's cheap and quick, it is it is r relatively accurate as well.